Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with our four rent rags to riches challenge. Hey, Haley? I almost thought, I almost said Maddie, but then I was like, oh, but Maddie's Haley. Sometimes I get them mixed up. It's fine. Haley is sleeping. And I think this is hers. Oh no, Carter painted that. So we want to get that sold. Carter, please sell your painting. Please, sir. Thank you. Uh, that might be Haley's painting. So he's doing great. You know, it's 5 a.m bright and early. Uh, he could use a little bit more sleep, but it's fine. I love this cabin. It's so cute. I can't wait to make an official one to rent out though, because then I'll be able to make the two stories and make a loft and it'll be so cool. All right. Anyway, uh, that's a 900 right there. Let's keep going, Carter. We want to sell, sell, sell. Um, I really want to just like, I don't know. You guys have said to get a painting wall and like even sell on Plopsy and stuff, but I don't know. And then obviously like we could become fashion designers and sell on trendy and get all the money in the world, but we're just, <laughs> we're focusing on this. It's fine. I don't know if there's any like harvestables here at the moment, uh, like in this area, everything, at least it's not like blizzardy and it's actually nice outside right now. Like, look at this stunning, stunning views. Like, please, for the location alone, we should be able to charge, like, 500 for rent for an empty cabin. You know what I mean? It's wonderful. I love it. Mostly, I just still, still don't think the doors are right, but what are we going to do, you know? But the back, oh, the back looks wondrous. <laughs> it looks so good. It's just, like, the door on the front, I'm just still not completely set on, but... We gotta do what we gotta do. All right, you sell this, it's $7.99. Not the best painting, but we'll, we'll take it. Um, we're gonna do a figure painting. So I can't decide if I wanna like make their lives better here or if I want them to just basically have what they have now with the amenities and focus on building our first cabin, you know? I kinda wanna just build our first cabin. I really want to. Ah, <sighs> I'm torn, I'm torn. Also, I kind of, kind of need to do like this shell Ooh. oh no those are just mounds of snow never mind i thought they were dig dig spots um i don't know for like the layout maybe maybe i could just do like porches you know because it won't count for anything and that'll just give us the general shape but we do need to make one and just kind of shape it the exact way we want to make it and then we can just duplicate it from there so anyway let's get a little more of this stuff sold and I'm gonna have her make one more and then she can maybe get something to eat. <laughs> you must complete 10 paintings before you eat. Uh, we'll sell yours there. Nobody's creating a masterpiece in a minute, so I really need to get that going. He's been in a really good mood lately. I'm very surprised at Carter. He's been, he's been loving it. Um, he's been close. I think it's just because he's spending time with his sister. He really does love his sister and they have a really great family dynamic and it's just great, it's just great. Uh, we do need to call up our man. Carter finished a masterpiece. All right, I'm going to invite this guy over. Uh, you can you can go ahead and sell these. 3,000, heck yeah. Okay, sell that. All right, we're at 10,000. I think that will give us enough money to kind of do a shell. A very, very bare minimum shell of what we want. So... We're gonna try it, I guess. Denzel's coming over. Also, should I do no trespassing? And I don't know, I think this area, it's fine. Everybody can come in. All right, figure painting. Let's start, at least get this started. Okay, are these the babies? I think these are the babies. I was like, I don't know these people, <laughs> but I think these are our new tenants um, for that big space. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I don't wanna spend the whole episode building, but you know that usually is how it goes. <laughs> no, but for real, I would like to just, I just wanna copy this shape. I don't want, how much would this be? This would probably be a lot to copy. Because I, I, I literally just want this what is it it's uh two four hold on two four six eight eight squares eight tiles one two three four five six seven eight by 
two, four, six, eight. It's an eight by eight. Okay, it's an exact square. So we're just going to do that then. Um, ah, no, I don't like that. I think I need to copy the porch. I'm gonna just build it like randomly out here. All right, that was 300 for that. Dang. No, because it's not the right height. Actually, I can do that. Hold on. <laughs> it's working, I promise. I can match it up. That means it'll match up. Okay. It was a little more expensive than we wanted, but should be able to do eight by eight. I cannot see the grid. No. <laughs> it's too snowy, the challenges, you guys. All right. Let's do it this way then. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should put move objects on because this is gonna be disastrous. But look at that foundation, how it like peaks above the little peak. This isn't the final spot for this, by the way. I'm literally just doing the shell like this, maybe with the roof and the windows perhaps perhaps it's an idea do i need to go up a level for this yes so these are the cabins right they just to me are just too tall but we're going to work with it it's going to be fine honestly it's kind of cute though. but i like the one story ones a lot better but it's just like i won't be able to do the loft situation it's not going to be great um, i am going to do these peak windows at the top Let's see i think that's the middle so we can at least get a start there. And then for the bottom, I don't know how we're going to best do this. Um, we can definitely do this and then this. I feel like that's excessive. It's fine. I like it. And then the front. I don't feel like the front's going to look right. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this door problem we have. Like, what the heck? I need... I tried the greenhouse doors. Where are they? We got them in the greenhouse haven kit. I think they were the closest, but they didn't have a color swatch that I liked. Hold on. We're going to find them and we're going to check it out. I mean, we have the single door too. Could do something like that. Um, it's just, I don't know. Something's not right with them, you know? We just, uh, here, this is what I think we're, well, it does have a black option. Maybe it's just weird. It just doesn't look right. We have the tall ones. So this is what I'm thinking. Like we could make this work. We're gonna put it down for a second. I quite literally think that's the only one we can make work at this point, other than like a tall arch door like that. Um, these are all arches, arches. Like we have this guy, but it's too much. So let's see if we can make this work. Let's see if I can get like single, single pane black windows so no that's not tall enough that's not tall enough maybe we have to get there's greenhouse ones or 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 we do no those aren't tall enough they're not tall enough like why why we could do this this <laughs> hold on i'm i'm trying something this might be way too much way too much there's too much light there's just too much window happening but i'm trying something hold on Let's do, let's just do this one. Uh, but it kind of looks weird. But I was thinking something like this, you know, like a, like a stacked situation. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I like it either. Uh, is there, is there a plain one? There's not really a plain one of these. Not in the black. Right? I can't quite see. Okay, I need to go down a level. Maybe that'll make it better. So, that's not what I want. We're working on it. We're working on it. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Like, we could do the plain one. That's too short. We need... I mean, this is what we're working with, right? This is the same... No, no, no. It's not. We have these windows, too. We could bring them all the way down. But then the pointy window doesn't look right. I'm telling you, this is the struggle, guys. I don't know what to do. Like, is that too much? Is that too excessive? I'm... I, I want to do like smaller squares like this though, instead of those shaped ones there, because I just don't think it looks right. But now it's just, it just seems like too much, you know? I mean, if we do an open window like that, maybe, I think, 
We gotta go back. Gotta go back. And we gotta just not have that door? I don't... Or, or, hear me out. Okay, we could do this. Let's get rid of these, because those are too much. We could do this. All right? Too much. Just too much. Uh, I also wish I could filter this better somehow. Like, and just look at... I mean, I could go just do, like, black... Actually, this one might be okay. Hold on. Let's get that, and let's just see. It's not gonna match up. Yeah, it doesn't... It just doesn't work, you guys. I don't know what I want to do. So, there's that problem. Uh, I don't want to spend forever on that problem either. We could literally... See, like, this is it's a good window. It's a great window. The plain one, it's just... The way it looks, it's not great. So... What's our option? This is our option one. Do we like it? I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna leave it. And you guys are gonna let me know what we think. Or maybe I will try to let me know what I think. Like I'll just figure it out. I will. <sighs> or I'm trying to think if there's some other possible. Wait, yes, there is. We can go back to the idea of getting that single pane glass door. Don't love it. Like even this one, right? It's so like that one, right? Get rid of this. Do this. There's that. We're gonna leave it like this. And you guys are gonna let me know what we think and what our options are. So there we go. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's just, I don't know, it kind of looks a little weird. Just let me know in the comments. Also, I don't know if I wanna bring this down anymore. I don't know. I feel like that might be too much. I think that's like just good. I think we're good. I might do still do like a wrap around. This just looks so businessy to me. I need help, guys. I really, I really, really need help with picking out a door and slash window set on the bottom. It's not fun. Like I would even choose this, but it's not. Let me move objects on. All right, I told you I was not going to spend forever doing this, but here we are. So, like, this looks a lot more, a lot better, but it's two tiles, so I would be weird. This is the option that we would have if we did something like that, but no, it's not. I'd rather have the other one, I think. So, just, just looking through all my options, and then there's this door. This door is a good one, I will say. I like it. It's almost as tall as we need it to be. We might be able to overlook that. No, we won't because it doesn't have the color swatch we need. Cool. That's lovely. So that's, I think we're just going to have to stop. We're going to have to stop doing this because I'm going to be here literally all day. So leave me your, your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks guys. All right. <laughs> now that we have it, um, like I said, I want to do three and three. So as for positioning, I just don't know fully what I want to do. We can go ahead and move this though and see what we can we can do. I kind of like them facing forward like this, you know, and then we can somehow stagger them. So like this, this where this one ends, we can start this one, you know, so like this. Oh, I like how the tree is indoors now. I'm just gonna leave this here. But something like this, and we'll stagger them like that. Maybe we'll do some here and here. It'll just be like all over the place. That's an idea, but <laughs> up in the air, can't see the grid lines. It's really bothering me, but I think that's that starts right where that ends. And the option to, oh, the window broke. The option to have a wraparound porch is also a thing, which I would like to have at some point. Uh, that's, but that's, that's just not right now. I don't want to put in any stairs yet because I don't want people coming into here, but this is going to be so much fun to make a loft. I'm going to be so excited. I kind of want to just do a small placeholder fence. I think we'll do like the loft in the back and we'll do something like, for now, I'm just going to do uh, this shape. And uh, that's what we'll go with. But I'll probably make it a little bit bigger. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
It doesn't look good on the inside, does it? <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. It's all going to work out. Everything's going to be great. So I'm glad we got these cabins going, though. This is this is really good news. This is really great for uh, the progress of our thing. We also got to figure out the stair situation. I think I might make this a stairway entry over on this side and kind of do something like that so that we don't have to take up the middle space for the loft. But really, I think it's just going to be like community sleeping for the most part. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we do any drywall or anything up there. So I'm not going to spend forever looking at that. But here it is. It's so, I'm so excited. I just need to figure out the door situation. I might just go back to this door set. Like I just, I feel like it's the better, the better option at this point. All right. Well, Denzel's here. Let's, uh, oh, we can first kiss with Denzel. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, sell that to the collector and then we can start another one. And, oh, somebody's calling. Maddie wants to come over? Sure, why not? All right, stop painting for a second and kiss Denzel before Maddie comes over because that'll be a little uh, weird, I think. A little awkward uh, for your have your first kiss in front of your mom. Maybe not, though. Maybe that's something people do. I would not like that personally. So, <laughs> that's so sweet. Ah, and she's also nervous. She's like, did you, is he okay? That's not okay. Did you like it? Are you still, do you still like me? <laughs> Yay! I'm glad she's everything went well with that, and he didn't deny her. Oh, I was like, who's that? <laughs> Carter. Uh, I can't quite see anything right now. Okay, so she needs to continue with her painting. Resume that figure painting. Oops. And I'm glad y'all. Oh, mom's here. I did install a thermostat. Did I say that in the last episode? I don't remember. I did install a thermostat, and they should be warmer now and won't have to, like, hold, uh, wear all their winter stuff. Oh, mama lit a fire. Now, I did, I don't know if it's technically cheating, but I did disable wants and fears. I'm sad because I wanted to be able to do all the, like, whims, but I was tired of them not wanting to have fire, <laughs> so <laughs> I just disabled it. Also, it still says, uh, fame is disabled, but somehow we're still gaining fame, so don't ask me how that happened. All right, he is, oh, Carter's painting something I didn't authorize, but maybe I accidentally authorized it. Um, we're going to have you sell that, and then you can start on another painting, and you can also start on another painting. This is great. 6,000 simoleons. We were able to build this. Oh, aspiration completed. What? Okay. It has taken kindness, attention to detail, and a few wrenches, but Haley has become a five-star property owner. Her tenants know there isn't a better place to live than one, her, one of her rental units. Her trait earned is home manager Maven. Sims with this trait are more successful solving tenants' emergencies and maintenance events, build stronger relationships with tenants, and have increased ratings on owned residential rentals. I don't, like, remember doing anything. Hold on. Five star rating. Good friends with the tenant. Oh, that's because of Denzel. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Um, we were, the only other one is, well, Fountain of Tomoronic Knowledge. I don't really want to do that one because we aren't living there right now. The only other one is the snooping one. Which I don't know where we'll find that one. Uh, popularity. Snooping. It is rags to riches. So let's just for now default to the... Oh. Oh yeah. Default to the fabulously wealthy. Alright. Let's check on our other unit by the way. Um, five stars for Sage. Three stars for everybody else. Grace period active for this one. I mean, I'm pretty happy with whatever's going on over there, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. So I'm excited we got the aspiration completed. That's fun. Go ahead and use the toilet here. And I gotta get her. Okay, she, she has her new aspiration. All right, and then you, sir, we need to work on your aspiration, which discover secrets, snoop for secrets, and eavesdrop on Sims. Can we eavesdrop on you? 
I feel like he's in the in the conversation, so we can't eavesdrop. So I'll have to wait. <laughs> anyway, really, really excited. I'm so excited for the cabins, guys. Like I have not been this excited since I started. I mean, <laughs> I've been excited for building apartments for a while since we got the pack. But the cabins, I've definitely been looking the most forward to. I think. I think it would just be so cute and cozy to build these, and it's kind of simple at the same time. Because I don't have to like do crazy decorating on the inside because it's pretty much going to be all the same colors. Um, but sometimes though the interior walls like these are built in and they aren't necessarily logs. So they could, they could technically be drywall. But I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Everything's taking forever. Ooh, Haley just finished a masterpiece. How much? 2,900. Almost 3,000 which is great. That's fantastic news. We really, really needed it. Yes, sell the masterpiece. You're still working on yours, so why don't you start another one? And he should be done here momentarily with his. And then we could sell that for 800. And then maybe he can start another one. All right, Maddie left, and I think Denzel left as well, but I have, I have no idea. I'm not sure where he's at. But this is so fun. I'm so excited. Oh, Haley just created another masterpiece. Let's see what the needs are looking like here. 1,900, not too shabby. So we have just made, we have 12,000. And I started building this one when we were at 10,000. So I was able to build this one. So we can technically, technically build another shell. Um, I still don't know the approach that I want to take because of the incident that happened with the first apartment. I don't really want to just keep renting out. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe maybe I should really do it one at a time. I don't know though because uh I don't I don't know. I don't know. Also technically since this is a shared space, we could have actually actually it should be fine because we won't have a full 6 units on this lot. Because this will be a shared space. Unless we make the shared space a cap. You know what I mean? Well, no, no, no. No, I lied. Because we're doing... I don't know the size of this lot. I don't think we could fit six more... Five more cabins on here. One, two, three, four, five. Unless I do it, like, side by side. Mm-hmm. We're going to really think about layout. That's why I said I think using porches will be very beneficial for us going forward because we'll be able to basically, you know, take, oh, sorry, I don't want to do the eyedropper, but take the, the porch, the platform, the foundation. Well, we don't really have that either, but we take the, the foundation tool, which is zero, and we go ahead and we make eight by eight squares with it. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we raise it up to match the other ones. So we just kind of got to do stuff like this, and then we can literally duplicate this and go from there. So this is one tile away from the edge. So it would be like here for over here. And then I'll take this tree and we can just put it in the back for now. So, so far, <laughs> uh, we only can fit, we'll fit two there. And is that right though? That doesn't look right. Oh no, I did it to the edge of the porch, didn't I? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, that makes a lot more sense as to why that's not lined up. All right, so it would be more like here. There we go. And then uh, I kind of want to do one in the middle, but also I'm fine with not. So that's why I'm thinking we do need to face them inward, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we have two, four, five tiles in between here, two, four, six tiles between the porch and that. So but the porch is two tiles. So two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? Did I mess that up? I can't see because of the snow. <laughs> Hold on, let me get uh, daytime here. It might make it a little better. So this is where we start. And that's where it starts. Okay. So it's quite literally looking like this. And that would be four units. And then... 
five, six. I don't like it this way. I kind of want to stagger them. I think if we do stagger, let me get rid of this mailbox. If we do stagger and we put these two inward more and then we do two more on the outside. So that'd be two, four, six. I think this will work. Let's go ahead and make the rest of these. So we gotta leave room for a porch. And then, well, then we won't have room for a porch on the inside here. Um, let's do this. Let's, let's just set it there. Okay. And I'm thinking we take this one right where it's at. And then we bring it out to the end of this one there. Okay. We do the same thing here. Can't quite see that one though. Uh, <laughs> let's do this then instead. Uh, how many over though? That's two, four, six, eight, nine away from the edge. So that'll be like there. Two, four, six, eight, ten away from the edge. So let's just let's just adjust it like that. All right. So those are what I'm. That is what I'm thinking right now. And then we take these ones, and they're on the corner. But I still don't know if I want them to face inward, outward, or what, what direction I want them to go in. But I think this is going to be the best way we're able to fit six units onto the property. So I definitely wanted to leave room for a porch. But I don't think we're going to have that. The alternative, we should move these back a little bit more so that they're in between these two. I don't know. Um, this is just the general idea for right now. And I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. And we didn't really spend any money either. I kind of want to get porches for all of these though. So that we can visualize it a little bit better. You know? Oh, that included the door and everything. Let me, uh, let me just get rid of all of that. Because we still don't know about the door. <laughs> uh, but we'll go ahead and get this put that there and then we'll take this and we put this one here and then we take this we don't have all six built right now keep that in mind um this one we can barely see but like i said the porches could either be facing this way or facing inward i almost think these two should face inward but I think I'm going to move these two anyway, regardless. And then we just do like two tile paths in between or something. Might make the most sense. Could also even bring it in a little bit more because the edge of this doesn't hit till right here. So there's definitely going to be a lot of potential with moving a lot of this stuff around. I'm very excited. <laughs> should I just go ahead and get this next one? I should just go ahead and get it. I'm going to place it here for now. And I'm going to move this tree and we're going to take this and move it, I guess here is fine for now. Can I put, can I build the porch on it still? I don't know if I can. Oh man, I can't see it. Uh, so that'll be, is that it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Honestly, this one, I kind of want to pull the, the walls out so I can see the whole front. Something like that, because, because these two, the side is deeper in snow and it's harder to see. So it makes sense. I might raise the foundation on all of these as well. It might make a lot more sense to do so we can see them, at least for the time being. Nope, don't do that. So exciting things are happening here at the, at the lodge, at the, what do I call these? The Komorobi, 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 Komorobi. <laughs> Komorubi cabins. Um, could also be a lodge. Not really a lodge. But this is the look. And we're definitely going to have... We're going to be able to fit all of them. It's going to be good. Two, four, six. And then this is the shared space. So we'll just live in space number one. Or I don't know how we want to order these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll start like renting this one out or something first. Or we live here, you know, and then we start renting them out one by one. We'll see if that works out well. I don't know. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry. Just kidding. I mean, it's kind of like the last one. It stinks that I can't keep them separated, but also it works because we are able to 
I still get the money for it. But anyway, we had a pretty productive episode here. I kind of want them to do a couple more paintings. Let's go ahead and do a figure painting here. And you are almost done with your figure painting. It'd be really nice to, okay, get that done. And then maybe you can go ahead and start another one. And then likes gossip. Yes, of course, because he likes the drama. He likes like snooping and everything. All right, so after he's done with this painting, I'm gonna have him go to the bathroom and then sleep. And then she's pretty good. I mean, I might have her do the same thing, but maybe I'll have her paint again. Burned out, burned out. All right, let's sell these two. Um, negatively impact. So I guess she's burnt out from the painting. She still seems in pretty good shape. So I think I'm gonna make her do another painting before bedtime, just just in case we never get that again. Anyway, we're rounding out this episode with 10,000 left. I might mess around with the organization of these cabins. It would be really, really fun to do, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I am going to end it here though. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.